All right, join me on page 519 in the Go Math textbook, chapter 13, lesson 2. Okay, the median is the middle value or the mean of the two middle values. When data is written in order, the lower quartile is the median of the lower half of the data set and the upper quartile is the median of the upper half of the data set. Okay. In 1885, a pair of jeans cost $1.50. Today, the cost of jeans varies greatly. The chart lists the prices of jeans at several different stores. What are the median, lower quartile, and upper quartile of the data? So find the median, lower quartile, and upper quartile. So order, order the numbers from least to greatest. So we've taken this data, put it in order from least to greatest. Circle the middle number, that's the median. So we go to each end and we can cross out one on each end until we get to the middle. So $42 is the median. Okay, calculate the upper and lower. So uh, find the median of each half. So this is the median of all the data. So this is the lower half of the data, and this is the upper half of the data. So we need to find the median of this group of data and the median of this group of data. So there's two numbers in the middle, 28 and 32. 28 plus 32 is 60. Divided by 2 is 30. So the median for the lower quartile is 30. And the upper quartile, the two numbers in the middle are 50 and 60. So we add those together, we get 110 divided by 2 is $55. So the median for the upper quartile, or what the up, which is what the upper quartile is, is 55. So the median is 42. The lower quartile was the median for the lower half of the data, which was 30. And the upper quartile is 55. So again, you find the number in the middle, then all the data points to the left. Those are your lower, the lower half of the data, and then you find the median of that, which would be your lower quartile. And then after finding the median, if you look at all the data points to the right, then you find the numbers in the middle of just that data, and that is the upper quartile. Okay. All right, thanks again for watching. Again, if you have additional questions, please don't hesitate to pause the video, rewind, or raise your hand.